But actually what I'm reading is if you've got a fat, if you're a fat person with a ponytail, you can't be drinking this. That's quite funny, I think. <laughs> Hiya, welcome to my sofa. It's time for a beer with Bob. Today we cross the Irish Sea and we take a trip down the wild Atlantic way to the White Hag Brewery and we're going to be tasting their dark droid salted caramel pastry stout weighing in at 5.5% ABV. Salted caramel pastry stout. Pastry stouts or dessert stouts are very sweet drinks indeed. And this one won't be for everybody's taste. Let's not get that one wrong there. It's gonna be an acquired taste, this. Uh, the can, you know, it's almost giving you pictures there of strudels, vanilla rhubarb like a Victoria sponge there, almost, with the White Hag logo there. White Hag, such a great name for a brewery as well, isn't it? You know, 330 mil can, 5.5%, so it's not overly strong. Uh, there's not much on the can other than this little thing here. I don't know if I can show you that logo. If you see there, obviously it's the same not for being drunk by a pregnant woman. But actually what I'm reading is if you've got a fat, if you're a fat person with a ponytail, you can't be drinking this. That's quite funny, I think. So let's open this one up. Ooh. So this is a pastry style, salted caramel. So lots of flavors there. Let's pour it into our glass. Okay. Remember people, when you're pouring your beer, a beer with no head is dead. Look at this. So it pours there, ooh, get the last drops in. A little bit of froth on the top, looks like a root beer perhaps. Little bits of carbonation and laciness there. Good head on the beer, nice in the glass. Poured a little bit like Bisto gravy, didn't it? The colour looks dark, like a good beef stock. It is black, but it's a stout. And there's a lot of bubbles there for a stout, in my opinion. A lot of bubbles for a stout. Normally you associate them with being thicker and stiller beverages. Let's get it to the nose and give it a good sniff. I'm getting vanilla in abundance there. Caramel and vanilla. It's a bit like a custard Danish, if you will. Oh, it smells so nice. It's like that bakery smell. It's a warming smell, a feel good smell. Mmm. Honestly, I wish you could smell this one with me because this one smells so good. Now, I know it's going to be sweet. It smells ridiculously sweet. Do you know what? The smell on this is so good. I'm trying to think of other words to describe it. It smells that nicely. But there is vanilla there, it's caramelly, it's... I, I, I don't know, you know, I don't know the smell of it, but it... Oh, it's good. Maybe a bit of Biscoff, you know the Biscoff biscuits you can get. Mmm, let's taste it, come on. Oh, that's sweet. That's really sweet. Wow. It, it's sweet and milky. It's very unctuous, thick tasting. Oh, it's sweet. 
It's very sweet. I'll tell you what you get with this, and this is fascinating, because when it's in the mouth, it doesn't have any of that salt that they're suggesting from the salty caramels there. But when you go back to your glass, that's when you get that Atlantic Ocean salt coming through there. That's quite interesting. But it's sweet. There are undertones of the caramel, milkiness, cakiness, doughiness that you're getting there is, is abundance. It's roasty, it's smoky, it's toasty, it's malty. It's, it's tasty. It's, it's a fun beer. It's really enjoyable, smile on your face type beer. It's probably going to be too sweet for a lot of people's palates. It, it really is, you know. I'm getting a stickiness around my mouth actually trying this. Almost like I'm eating a good dessert. And that's interesting. Dessert, that's an interesting point. Because I think that you could sit down at the end of the meal with a dessert or even some cheese and have this. This could replace a port at the end of the meal in my opinion. You know, maybe get a, a can and, and share it out in smaller quantities, uh, like a dessert wine or something like that. I don't think it necessarily needs to be to be drunk as a as a beer. And in fact, it's that sweet. You probably wouldn't drink it as a beer. In all fairness, you would probably want to to savor this and actually have it accompany in something like to eat because it is very very sweet it needs something to balance it out i do like a stout i do like a milk stout i like flavorings in the stout but this one for me is probably a bit too sweet although enjoyable a bit too sweet overall it's pleasant from our guys over in the emerald isle but because it's so sweet, I don't think I can mark it as high as some of the other beers. So I'm going to say now that the White Hag Salted Caramel Pastry Stout, otherwise known as the Dark Droid, is a three bob beer. Until next time, stay safe, stay inside and keep drinking.